Noah here for American Trucks, and we're gonna check out these switchback sequential turn signal projector headlights with matte black housings and clear lenses for the 09 to 14 F-150 with those factory halogen headlights. These headlights are perfect for the F-150 owner that wants a fully plug and play upgrade with a bright daytime running light design and a switchback sequential turn signal all within a darker housing. Now these headlights are only going to fit F-150s that came equipped with the halogen headlights from the factory. To start things off, we have LED daytime running lights here at the top and the bottom of the headlight. And these look awesome and they're meant to make your truck more visible to other people on the road. And then if you pair that with those projector style headlights that cast a beam focused rather than spread wide, and these things should be really effective in low light driving conditions. And we do have a matte black housing in here that gives everything a sleek and dark look and a clear lens so there isn't any light restriction like you'd get with a tinted lens. Then the party piece here is going to be that switchback sequential turn signal. Now sequential lights are really cool and they always add another layer of awesome to any upgraded headlight. As far as construction goes, we have automotive grade plastic housings and clear polycarbonate lenses. Now these guys are gonna be resilient to road debris, moisture, heat, you name it. Then on the inside, there are those projector lenses that I mentioned earlier. They're designed to intensify that light beam and cast a beam that's focused and make the most of the halogen bulbs. Now these headlights are designed to use the factory style bulbs, but there are plenty of drop-in LED bulb options available on our site that you can buy and throw into these guys at the same time so that you can make the most of those projectors and get some serious brightness out of them. And then finally, that LED daytime running light is made up from a fiber optic strip, and these guys come with a 90-day warranty to protect you from any manufacturing defects. So these headlights are gonna cost you around $450, making them about middle ground in terms of pricing for aftermarket headlights for the 09 to 14 F-150. Now I will say at that price point, you're getting quite a lot of features like those sequential signals, but you're not getting built in LED bulbs. So the middle of the road price does reflect the design of the headlight. Getting these headlights installed on your F-150 is gonna take you about 45 minutes to do on your own at home with minimal tools, but this install will require a little bit of mechanical skill. So we're looking at an install difficulty of two out of three wrenches. Now speaking of install, I'm gonna hand it over to one of the guys over in our install bay, and they're gonna walk you through that process step by step. The tools you'll need for this project are a 3 8 drive impact gun, a short extension, a 10 millimeter socket, a quarter inch drive ratchet, an eight millimeter socket, and a pair of wire snips. Hi everyone. Today we're installing a set of headlights on our F-150, but before we do that, let's watch a short video on how to uninstall the stock headlights first, and we'll see you right back here. Now guys, step one of course is pop your hood. Grill and hood goes with it. So what we're gonna do here is grab our extension, an impact gun, and a 10 millimeter socket. Deep or short does not matter. We're gonna remove the two 10 millimeter bolts from up top, then we're gonna pull back this flap here and remove one more 10 millimeter. And from there, we should be able to pull our headlight out of place. So grab those, take these off. All right, from here, we're gonna pull back this flap. We got one more right here. This is where I use that extension. All right, from here, we got all three bolts out of the way. That's really all you have to remove. Just pull straight back on the headlight. You might have to apply a little bit of force. There's some clips holding it in here, but pull straight back and it'll come out. From here, what we're gonna do is just pinch and disconnect those factory harnesses from the bulbs. Now we can set the factory headlight aside. Before we can install our new light, there's a couple of things we need to take care of first. First of all, we need to remove our parking light and our turn signal bulb sockets because we're gonna be reusing the sockets in the new light. So to do that, we just turn them counterclockwise and pop them right out. Same thing with the parking light. Once you've got them out, then we'll go ahead and pull the bulbs out and then we'll reinsert the sockets into the new headlight. So to remove your bulbs, you just gently grab the side of the bulb and pull it out. Same thing with the parking light. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the sockets into the new light. So now on our new light, 
We've got a plug here and a plug here for the turn signal. So we're just gonna take this plug, plug it into where the light bulb goes on this socket. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of wires here for the parking light. We're just gonna use our parking bulb socket, plug that in, and then feed the wires back in through the light and snap the socket into place. So we're gonna snap it in and then turn it clockwise to lock it into place. Now we'll do the same thing for the turn signal. All right, now that we've got our light ready to go, now we can go ahead and do the second part before we install the light, which is run our DRL harness. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run that up behind the core support here next to the battery, and we're gonna attach it to this little stud right on top of the battery terminal. Now you'll notice that we've got a short section and a longer section. So the longer section we're gonna run across the front of the truck over to the driver's side and the short section is going to be for the passenger side. So let's get this installed. So now we'll go ahead and run our wire right up under the core support next to the battery. Now we can hook it up to the stud right here. All right, so now we can go ahead and loosen this stud right here. It's an eight millimeter nut. So we'll just loosen that up. Slide our wire underneath the nut. And then tighten it down. Now we can go ahead and hook up our light and get it installed. All right, now we can go ahead and reconnect our factory harness to our new light, simply by plugging everything back in where they came from. Hook up our parking light. And we'll hook up our headlight. And then our turn signal. And then finally, we can hook up our DRL to the new harness that we just ran. Now we can go ahead and install this light, securing it with the original hardware. Now when you're inserting this, you just wanna make sure that your new harness and your old harness are not interfering with anything. And then we'll just slide our light back into place. And we'll go ahead and put our bolts in at the top. And then the one at the side. Now we'll tighten them all down using our 10 millimeter socket. Now you can repeat that whole process for the other side. All right, now that we've got our, both of our lights installed and our harness run, we'll go ahead and use the included zip ties in the kit to go ahead and secure this harness up out of the way so that it doesn't get interfered with by anything else running around. So we'll just zip tie this up along this hood release cable here and on this side, and then tuck it back in behind the light for whatever's left. So you can just run as many zip ties as you feel comfortable with. We're just gonna go around and add a few in here just to make sure that it stays out of the way and doesn't interfere with anything and it's not going to be near any kind of heat source that'll cause a problem. And now you can just tuck the excess harness back in behind the light and we're good to go. Now just as a matter of personal preference, I like to cut off the excess zip tie here just using a pair of wire snips. Just cut it off, makes it look a little neater, and you can do that for all the rest of them as well. 
And that wraps up our review and install of the Switchback Sequential Turn Signal Projector Headlights with the matte black housing and clear lens for the 09 to 14 F-150 with factory halogen headlights. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.